Okay, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Thursday, June 23rd, 2011. And this Trumpet Talk episode will be um, dedicated to uh, Jimmy Stamp uh, study number six uh, and how to apply that study to play different kinds of scales, in particular the diminished scale. So uh, those of you who are familiar with the Stamp book already know what I'm talking about. It's this exercise. So, uh, beautiful little exercise, isn't it? And there's uh, a lot more to those exercises than meets the eye. That's part of the beauty of those exercises. You know that, notice that uh, the, the curve on all those exercises is to go from low to high, which uh, gives you a chance to practice uh, keeping the pitch down as you're going up. Or as Jimmy would say, uh, as you go up, stay down, and as you go down, stay up. But that's not, we'll talk about that more some other time, perhaps. But for now, let's take that exercise and use it to learn a different scale. Uh, so instead of playing the scale that's written on the page, I would use it to practice my diminished scales. So that's whole half. Here's half whole. And keep going up by half step. Etc. Then when you get to the other uh, form of that study at number six, it goes. Use that in the diminished. Something like that. And uh, eventually, you'll know your diminished scales great. And as you know, they come in handy for all kinds of things. Etc. So practice those diminished scales, and you won't regret it, as well as uh, using the Jimmy Stamp exercises. Uh, in this case, uh, the exercise number six. And maybe that's enough for today. We talked a little bit about the uh, exercises from Jimmy Stamp book uh, and the importance of learning your diminished scales. And those exercises, of course, on uh, the Jimmy Stamp book can be used for things other than the diminished scales. You can plug in most any kind of scale into those lines and it'll work great. So a short little get together today, but uh, one that I hope you find helpful. And uh, thanks for listening. Bye bye.